All right, Facebook. We've got it. We got it going on. Here's live. There's Dapper Dan and Katie. Hello. She's going to go live on the TikTok. Let's go live on TikTok right now. And here are the monkeys. Or at least the monkeys for right now. <laughs> Little young kittens. They like to climb. They like to play. And it's all cute and fun until they make a little bit of a mess. You can yeah. see that some of the litter they spill, they kick out. But they have a good time. Hello. So good evening, everybody. Hello, Dapper. Say hi as you come in, guys. You can say hi back. Let us know that you're here. Hi. We have some other young kitties over here going on. This is Jelena and Rafiki, Amira. Four little bait, cute babies in there. They're also little monkeys. They're climbing all over the place and sometimes ripping their card, pulling and playing. It's a toy, but they have a good time. Over here, we've got a litter of kittens. Jelani, Rafiki, Amira, and Haki. Hello. This one is Rafiki. Hi, Rafiki. The other little black one, that's Jelani. Brenda and Kathleen, Victor. Hello from St. Louis, hi. See some of you coming in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, we are in Corpus Christi, Texas, the Cattery Cat Shelter. Coming to you live. These are some of our kittens that are going to be coming up for adoption in the next week or so. And Chad, our, one of our resident kitties here in the shelter in the lobby. Hello, Hi, Chad. Chad. <laughs> hey, Crystal and Haley's joined Hello. on Facebook. Thank you guys for saying hey. We're going to be live for the next hour, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Here at the Cattery Cat Shelter, Corpus Christi, Texas. We are a no-kill shelter. Make sure you're following us, guys. We post videos every single day, at least three every day. They are all so sweet. So we're going to be live for an hour. You guys are welcome to ask questions. I have the co-founder, Scott, here. He has Hello. all the knowledge. All the knowledge. All the knowledge. All the knowledge. And uh, it's a great time to ask questions because he's here. Of course, I know some stuff too. <laughs> so feel free to ask anything you have questions about, whether it be about cattery cats or the cattery or your own cats. We're happy to help. Hi, Lynn and Princess Alyssa. Hello. How are you all? So glad you all could join us tonight. You know, one of the fun things about being at a shelter is all the support that we get from the community and you know we do t it is a serious job taking care of these guys and all the work that we put into them but we also try and have a little bit of fun and some of our supporters and donors help us out with that sure. so i thought i would show maybe a couple things tonight that uh, are here in the lobby area oh, yes. like this uh this masterpiece. this masterpiece this is a princess cecily we were celebrating in the month of may mer may because she dressed up in mermaid outfits on her page for her fashion shoot. And so this piece of art was created for her. And I believe there are nine Cecilies like a where's Waldo. hiding in this photo, this, this painting somewhere. I spy. And you can see her hiding in the coral <laughs> or swimming around and her beautiful mermaid tail behind her. Mm -hmm. Maria and Mary and Paula and Crystal are watching. And then this Cecily masterpiece oh, yeah. is just amazing. <laughs> See if we can get it where there's no glare. What do we call this piece, Katie? What, uh, like the... uh, it's called Her Royal Highness. <laughs> <laughs> Her Royal Highness. <laughs> but the art, how do we do this? This is, this is like a Renaissance dress. Uh, yeah. Um, it's like a classical, I don't even know. <laughs> it was Googled. I Googled it. There it was, we go. It was beautiful. Yep. It just fits her so well. Hi, Hi Peggy, Lynn, Logan, Ricky. Excellent. Thank you guys for joining <laughs> us. And then we have our little uh, statue cat here. And if I come <laughs> around to the back side, you will see <laughs> this is a Kleenex side. box. Yeah. So we put a box of Kleenex in there, and so that's where you pull the Kleenex out. Uh -huh. And then we have some of the cards that people have written to Cecily or other residents here. Mm -hmm. And then up here. Hi, Carrie. I hear you. 
This is Virginia. Virginia, sadly, is no longer with us. She passed a few years ago. But Virginia was Cecily before we had Cecily. Mm -hmm. And she was mom to the little kitten room. She used to live in the kitten room and take care of all of the kittens. Um, and so you can see that the inspiration for Cecily and what we do with her came from Virginia. And then this was created by a supporter. This is Martha. Martha is one of a, our longtime residents who, Such again, she passed away a few years ago. Uh, I did take her home for the last six months of her life so that she would have an adoptive family to take care of and live in a home. Yeah. Um, and she was with us for about 11 years, and nobody ever really adopted her. Wow. Um, but she was the dame of the adult room. <laughs> and so... <laughs> And then we just have some funny cat art in different places and, and the things. Cat clock. And the cat oh the cat clock. I forgot. Love yes. The cat clock. We get comments on it all the time. This is a cat clock that so the batteries are dead and it's so it's five o'clock somewhere. So it's permanently set to five o'clock. But you can see all the different hours are different kitties. So we do try and have some fun here at the shelter. There's other pieces of artwork around, but mostly the artwork is the cats. Yes. Hello, Dapper. Speaking of artwork. Hello, baby. Hello, Dapper Dan. I know. How are you tonight? Huh? There you go. He's so handsome. Oh, yeah. He's a sweetie. So we did have a question here. Okay. Sweet to you, Miss Rebecca. What do you do when you have a cat that does not like other cats? Ah, that's a conundrum. So there are some different uh, ideas that you can do to encourage cats to get along. You can't always force them to get along. Nope. Sometimes tolerating each other is really as good as it's going to get, and we have to accept that. Uh, a lot of times what's going on with the cat is competition mm -hmm. between the two kitties. And so you want to make sure there's enough places to play, to climb, enough food, water, bed, toys, attention from the humans, uh, jealousy. Cats actually get jealous of each other. So if this one cat always comes into the room and you're holding the other cat, that can be jealous. And so you can just try and try and balance out your house a little bit and all of that doesn't cost you anything. That's right. Then there are some products that you can buy. Uh, Jackson Galaxy has his own line of products, Feel Away, and other types of products exist um, that you can buy pretty readily online, and they are like synthetic hormones, mm -hmm. and it forms like a calming effect in the house because cats do a lot by smell, and so having that synthetic hormone in the house can calm everybody down because it doesn't come from the one cat. It's not associated with anybody Therefore, the smell is everybody has marked their own territory and they can feel a little bit more comfortable. That's right. They're very territorial animals. Finally, if you're having a lot of problems, take a step back. Retreat. Take one of the cats into a bathroom or a guest bedroom and go through the whole reintroduction process again, mm -hmm. even though these cats know each other. And it can be like restarting and resetting from zero. You can look on our website, thecatterycc.org, and there's some ideas and some uh, material there as well. Yes, there is. Peggy and Logan and Marge and Olivia and I don't know who else, Alton, Lori, Beth, welcome and thank you all for coming tonight. Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to move on to the shelter. All right. This is our lobby. Uh, whenever you first get to the cattery, you walk into here, and this is where we greet you. Um, of course, during the week, a lot of stuff happens in here, getting the cats ready for the weekend. Oh, there's Templeton. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey, Templeton. He's like, hey, what's up? Templeton is a kitty that lives with us part-time at the shelter okay. and part-time over at Retail Therapy, which is our thrift store here in Corpus Christi as a way of raising funds. And so he, uh, he lives here at the shelter part of the, part of the week. And he lives over there part of the week. Good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. Okay, let's go across. You may lose connection, guys. We are switching internets. Um, it's possible that you will drop us for a moment. This is our deck. And you look out into the sun setting here in Texas. If I turn around, you right. can see the, the sign we have that says lobby over in front of the door that you go into. And then on this side, we're going into the shelter side. Here we go. Always in his favorite spot. 
Hi, Kepler. <laughs> there is. Last weekend. All Carter, right. Carter's in Corpus Christi, Texas, guys. I lost connection, but it looks like I regained connection. There's Kepler as we come into the shelter side. He is an FIV positive cat, mm -hmm. um, but he lives here at the shelter. He is available for adoption. We are a no-kill shelter, so we do not euthanize because he has FIV um, or any other reason like that. And so uh, we do educate the public about FIV and what it means to have an FIV cat. And so he is a perfectly happy, healthy kitty yeah. and ready to find a loving home. He's very healthy. Aren't you, you can Kepler. see how healthy he is. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Donna. We appreciate it. We love you guys, too. Thank you for your support. Thank you guys for joining. Hello. Say hello as you come in, guys, so we know you're... Fresh to the I'm scrolling through some of the comments and, and things. Hi, Charmin. Trying to make sure I don't miss anybody. <laughs> this is Charmin. She's 16 years old, you guys. She's the oldest cat we have at the shelter at this time. Um, as you can see, she still looks really good. She's very, very sweet, very friendly. And she's also available for adoption. Emily, I will say hi for you. <laughs> there you go. Hi. hi. Hello, everybody. Uh, so not all the kittens are FIV positive. Very, very few of our residents are FIV positive. We obviously do testing on everybody and have complete medical records to give to potential adoptees or adopters. And so we go through that and we educate uh, people on what type of animal and the temperament of that cat, as well as the health status of that cat and make sure that everybody's uh, aware of what's going on. Olivia and Juliana, Marge, everybody's coming in. There's lots of kittens in Sue, here. thank you all for joining us tonight. It is kitten season <laughs> down here in Corpus Christi, Texas. We have lots of kittens. We had how many adoptions last week? 25 adoptions last weekend, you guys. It was a really great weekend for adoptions here. Of course, whenever we do adoptions, that means we have more space to take in more kitty cats. That's right. That's the whole point. We do have around Hi. 200 cats in our care right now. Yeah, we have a lot of cats right now. A lot of them are kittens, but we still have a lot of adults and teens as well. Yeah. All right, where are we going to the adult oh, room? Yeah. All right, got to sanitize up a little bit. Guys, we are doing a um, $2 Tuesday challenge. If you give us $2 today, we are trying to raise money to uh, buy more food for the kitty cats. It costs us between $400 to $600 a month to feed all the kitties. So every dollar helps. You can donate through Cash App, Venmo, or through PayPal. All right, excellent. Just done sanitizing a little bit. Sorry for the poor camera work. Yeah, sorry, we're sanitizing hands. <laughs> Looking through the adoption, the adult room window and all of the kitties. They don't know why we're here so late at night. No, they don't. <laughs> so they act they're a like, little bit back? little bit crazy. Hi, Porthos. So this is our adult room. Everybody in here is going to be a year or older. Um, we do have quite a few kitties in here. Some of them you may recognize. You know, they, they don't get adopted as quickly as kittens sometimes, but that's okay. They have a good home here at the cattery until they go home. Hi, this is Harold. Harold is TikTok famous, and that's one of his girlfriends, Nini. He's got a lot of girlfriends in here. <laughs> Harold is a player. <laughs> he is, but he's such a sweet boy. There's his other one, Eleanor. That big calico girl, yep. Over here. Hi, Eleanor. Harold's one of those cats that makes friends with every cat. He just is so friendly. Ooh, we just got confetti from Sammy. That All reminds right. me, TikTok, if you guys want to send us gifts, we will read you cat facts. We have over 100 cat facts to read. <laughs> so if you want to give us some gifts, I will read you a cat fact. We're going to do one right Hi, now. Harold. Victor says hello, Harold. Hi. All right, here's a cat fact. Cats have 230 bones, and humans only have 206. That's All right. Crazy. There you go. Yeah, that's crazy. They're a lot smaller than us. They are a lot smaller. <laughs> like Tiny bones. Oh, hi Bellamy. hi Bellamy. Hi Bellamy. Yes. Oh, Miss Rue and Tink both got adopted. Yes, Lynn. We were yes, so we excited with them yep. getting adopted. They went to very good homes. Hello, I'm just going to lean. This is Bellamy, and I'm just going to lean back. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, That's Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Well, this, for the 
So earlier, someone was asking about uh, introducing cats to other cats, and you see that purple collar? That's actually a calming collar. Mm -hmm. There's some syn synthetic hormones in there, so you can get a collar like that for your cat, or there are room diffusers. So this is a, a room diffuser, and they put the synthetic hormone in the bottom, and it acts just like one of those Airwick fresheners. It's good for multi-cats, if you have multi multiple cats. Yeah, absolutely. Or if you need something a little more specific, you know, one specific cat is acting out Dakota, then you can put a little collar on it. Hi, Dakota. Oh, I know. Dakota, Dakota's issue is that he's just a kitten trapped in a big body. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to play. Yeah, he's just very playful. And in the adult room, not all the other adults want to play. Some of them do, but most of them are like, can you please just leave me alone? Hi, Hi Sarah. Hi. Welcome. Nancy. Hi, Eleanor. Hi. Pam, thanks for joining. Brody? This is Brody. Or Where's is Brody? Brody? I always get them mixed up, guys. I'm sorry. This is either Brody or Hobie. His brother is the opposite, whatever I said. <laughs> <laughs> but he's very handsome, very sweet. Uh, he loves to be pet. Aww. And he's very soft. He's got a little booger. All gone. <laughs> that's a cat owner trick. You just... It is Brody. Okay, that's what I thought. Hi, Brody. And then I always second guess myself. There you go. We gotta get you guys some cat look facts here. That. Oh, we need cat facts. All right, cat facts. Cats' rough tongues can lick a bone clean of any shred of meat. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a good fact. Kind of gross. Hi, Tiny. Oh. Hello. Dakota fell off. Dakota <laughs> jumped down, scared everybody in the room. I think he likes to pounce and scare them. But Toddy is here. This Hi, is Toddy. Toddy. She's been here the longest out of any of the other adoptable kitty cats. I should say adoptable because we do have some cats that have been here longer. But they live here. She's she's the fuzzy potato on TikTok. <laughs> fuzzy <laughs> potato. On TikTok. She's known as the fuzzy potato. They all love her. Guys, if you watched a recent video about our long term kitties, this is the fuzzy potato Toddy. She doesn't always hide under the furniture. There you go. <laughs> we will Sunny where is Sunny's in here, right? Sunny's over there. Yeah, we'll get to Sunny here shortly. Yeah, he's um, sweet. We are open to the public Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but right now and through the COVID kind of emergency, we've really kind of limited to adoption appointments instead of people just coming in and hanging out. Yeah. Um, so if you are interested in adopting, you can make an appointment with us. Uh, email adoptions at thecatterycc.org. And you can come in and we'll take you through and we'll, we'll introduce you to all the cats and you have plenty of time to get to know them and observe them and interact with them before you make a, a decision. That's right. In the future, we'd like to reopen more entirely and allow those people who are just looking to come pet and play with cats to come in because it does help socialize the cats. Yeah. And it does give them additional attention and love. And so that's exactly. something that we're, we're working on getting back to. We just haven't quite gotten there yet. Oh big, oh, big stretch. Oh, stretch. I, someone on TikTok said that it's a rule when a cat stretches, you have to say big stretch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, big stretch. There we go. All right. Tato is cute. I know. Her name is Tati. It almost sounds like a Tati. You know, it's cute. It's close. <gasps> uh oh. Hi. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at those eyes. That's <gasps> Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Hi. Linda. Listen, Linda. Yeah, I know. Oh, she's, look at she's that. She's a chirper. She makes lots of little chirping noises. Oh, she likes to raise her butt. Mm -hmm. Elevator butt. <laughs> Elevator butt. And this is Shiloh, this big fluffy girl right here. She is one of my favorite cats right now. That's Shiloh. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. She absolutely loves laps. Oh. Very talkative. Oh, my goodness. Very soft. There's so much hair here. <laughs> it's like petting a, a rug. It's nice. Hi. Somebody just got a new arrival. Nicole, I'm scrolling back. You're a proud aunt to a baby black and white niece. Yay! Black and white, especially the tuxedo, are my I favorites. Love my Personal favorite. favorites. My favorite too. This is Sunny, guys. I heard someone was asking about Sunny earlier. Hello, Sunny. He is doing really well, you guys. He is such a sweet boy. Um, it took him a little while to get adjusted everything in here, but he's doing great. Um, he's actually. <laughs> Quite the lap cat. He loves one of our uh, employees, Elissa. He loves her. He just <laughs> drools all over her, literally. Yeah. Drools. <laughs> and I just want to point out, he's not always hiding in this corner. He no. just jumped in here I just a minute ago. Um, a couple minutes ago, he was out on the floor. 
So he is out and about. Although I will say this is his favorite corner. He, he kind of owns this cat tree. This whole tree is Hi, his. Baby. It's okay, Shiloh. What's wrong? Hi, Shiloh. What's wrong? Oh. Were you napping? Shiloh's just waking up. Oh, Hi. look at that face. She is really sweet. Why'd you wake me up? She's probably going to get adopted this weekend. I'm calling it now. I know you're petting me, but you're going to leave me. <laughs> and it's not fair. Yeah. Hi, Sonny. There we go. And you can see we put the cat trees in front of the windows and we got vegetation outside. There's always lizards that live in this. Lizards and little birdies that fly by and cat entertainment. That's a good question. What is the quickest the cat has been adopted? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Basically right away. <laughs> yeah. Before they even get like their intake done, they're like, oh, I want the cat. Yeah, so <laughs> typically speaking, at our shelter... Um, Everybody, when we do intake, they go into quarantine for a couple of weeks. And that gives us time to make sure that they are spayed and neutered, that they don't have any medical issues or health issues. Get them tested. We socialize them and work with them and make sure that they're going to be uh, good for adoption, right? So we do a lot of work with them. So typically in the first couple of weeks, nobody gets adopted. Yeah. But the fastest that anybody's been adopted is probably within about 45 minutes of bringing them out yeah, for their first day. Exactly, definitely. Because on that, that Friday morning, we're bringing out the cats for the new, for the new week and, and adding them to the rooms and things. And we've had people walk in at, right as we open yeah, and exactly. fall in love with that cat. Our first appointment, very first appointment. And uh, that's, yeah, we've had kittens adopted really quick. We have adults adopted really fast as well. Oh, Brittany, I, I missed your question. I'm going to suggest that that long hair, what's the name of the long hair? Shiloh. Shiloh. Maybe that's the one you were asking about, Shiloh? Yeah, this is not our house. Uh, this is our shelter. Um, I wish it was my house. But and that one was sunny. Was. So maybe I, got, <laughs> maybe I got one or the other there, and that's who you were asking about. I'm Shiloh. sorry I missed your question. Sunny. But let me know. Robbie's in there with Wilson. Uh, Wilson is a sweet boy. Yes, he is. Hi, Wilson. So Wilson is in the special needs room. He does have a special need. Um, he has irritable bowel syndrome. So he has a different food than the other kitties do to help control that. He has a very sensitive tummy, and we don't want to upset it by letting him out with the other kitty cats. Sweet, poopy boy. Although, I will say, in the mornings when all the cat food is picked up and they're cleaning the room, they do let him out, and he does like other cats a lot. Yeah. But he does need that special food. Yeah, he, he comes out into the room when there is no food that would upset yeah. his tummy. Because he goes right for it. He's like, ooh, there's the other food. You know? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. She's gorgeous. Little tortie. Oh, green eyes. Just Beautiful. pretty. Very, very sweet kitty. She is a sweet girl. So you see, we do have a couple rooms off of the adult room for some of our special needs cats, uh, like Wilson. So if they need something special, we can still take care of them. Hi, Harold. Yeah, that's right. Where's your girls? <laughs> hmm? They're everywhere. Today, Harold was uh, cleaning Porthos's head for him. It was very sweet. Oh, hi, Porthos. He's just a very sweet cat. <laughs> Whenever Harold go. was home, he's going to need cat friends. This I is, say friends. This is Porthos. Porthos gets allergies. Uh, he's been with us for a while. Yeah. And so about this time of year, every year, you'll notice that when he turns his head, yeah. uh, some baldness on the back of his neck. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you can see it there. Skin. And uh, so that's just him and his allergies. Thank you for the confetti. Oh, confetti. Yay. All right, let's do cat fact. Cat fact. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Some cats are ambidextrous, but 40% are either left or right pod. Very wow, interesting. Wow, that's I know, pretty right? cool. I got a cat fact. Let's hear it. I love cats. Oh, I like that. I like <laughs> that, cat fact. that is a true fact. That is a true fact. It applies to me as well. <laughs> what time is it? Do we have a time? Uh, I do not have a time. I don't either. Do you have time? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, cat. What's that? I'm a tap. Oh, 23. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, the Somebody asked about the cat trees. Ah, Caranda. So, yeah, go ahead. These are called Carandas. You can get them at caranda.com. They. What, did, what was the okay. question? They just asked about oh, it. Oh, no, we, we didn't make them. We did buy them and assemble them. You can get them yourself, too. 
Um, we just did a TikTok on it. It's Karanda, K-U-R-A-N-D-A. I think I said that right. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're awesome. Uh, they work really great in the shelter environment. Uh, they'd be great at home too. They're easy to clean. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're pretty sturdy. They're sturdy. They've lasted a long time. And they've got kind of a vinyl yeah. shelf which makes it very easy to clean and keep sanitized. Right. So it, it's a little bit easier than, let's say, a tree like in the corner that's got all that carpet, carpet on it, mm -hmm. which is a wonderful tree, and we love them as well. Yeah. But it does take more effort to keep those guys clean. The Corunda Towers yeah. are a lot easier to kind of maintain Definitely. in a sanitary condition. And they're really cool. The cats yeah. like them. There's multiple levels. Yeah. Melanie so, loves this one and that one. <laughs> so they come unassembled, and I believe a, a supporter donated uh, a whole bunch of them to us, and so we we built them. They've been, we've had them for a number of years now. So very durable. Hi, buddy. All right. Um, so the cages in the room. Cages in the room. Cages in the room. All right. I'm going to move to this side so we can see. Here they are. All right. These are the cages in the room. These are what we call, we're a cage-free environment, but this is what we call our transition cage. Mm -hmm. These cats are new to the room. They don't know everybody, but you can see in there they have their own food, water, toys, bed, and litter. <laughs> These are the things that cats usually will have competition over, and they may fight or, or jump on each other right. and attack each other. And so by doing this, we give them a safe, protected place to start in the room. It's an open environment. They can see and smell and interact with other cats, and they get to learn that the other cats, we don't fight in this place. That's right. That this is a chill place and that it's okay and cool, and I don't have to defend my territory. There's plenty to go around. Plenty to go around. Now, you'll notice this cat on top here is hanging out towards the back of the cage. Mm -hmm. So he's telling me I'm not ready to come out. That's you did right. see him come up to the front of the cage and interact with us briefly. So he is comfortable enough to do some exploring, but he's really telling us I'm, I'm not quite ready not to come ready. out. Exactly. When we move into uh, some of the other rooms, we may uh, see, now a lot of these guys are just beginning the transition. Yeah, like today. But <laughs> as they start to move forward and hang out more up at the front, we're gonna see that they are actually a little bit more interested in coming out and doing that transition. And one of our staff will work with them and observe them and we'll open the cage and we'll let them come out in their own time. Mm -hmm. um, and so some cats will do that within just a couple of hours. That's true. And some cats will do that within weeks. Yeah, some cats are ready almost right away. They're like, oh, I like other cats and they come right out. Yeah. Um, but of course, because all of these kitty cats, you know, we don't know their full history. We don't really know what they've experienced before. Um, you know, what what kind of exposure they've had to other cats. And a lot of times if they come from the streets, they may feel a little bit more territorial. They don't know what these cats are about. <laughs> right. Cats on the streets kind of have to fend for themselves. Yeah. But here they don't have to. And that's okay, right, Shiloh? So we don't have too many knockdown, drag out fights no, here in the cat not. room. Almost never, um, actually. Every now and then you'll hear, oh my goodness, those eyes got me. <laughs> Let me see. She's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Goodbye. Linda, <laughs> where are you going? Goodbye. We wanted to talk about you, Linda, and make you Facebook and TikTok famous. Like, oh, those right. eyes. Coming up closer where you can see me. Yes. Yeah, Linda Hi, baby. loves attention. She's... Hi, Linda. Oh, She's a sweet such girl. Such a sweetie. Such a sweetie. Do we have any cats that reh rather than meow? Um, <laughs> Linda kind of rests a little bit, I guess. She makes like purring noises or chirping noises, if that's what you mean. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a circus animal. I will not perform on command. Oh, beautiful little diluted torty over here. Oh, that's Mimosa. Hi, Mimosa. Mimosa is Just a really sweet, sweet girl. She's a little bit more shy. Uh, she definitely needs um, <clears throat> someone who has a little bit more patience and willingness to give her that time she needs to come out of her shell. Yeah. But she's really gorgeous. And she is really sweet. She does like to be pet. She just gets a little bit nervous when you first approach her. Got a nice long tail on this beautiful she does have a baby. Long tail. Oh, she is beautiful. Got good balance. All right. Thank you for following us, guys. Feel free to share our live too if you can. And don't forget, we do have a two dollar Tuesday donation uh, request or challenge today. You can donate through Venmo or Cash App or PayPal on our website. And again, that's only two dollars, and every dollar helps. Today we're raising money for cat food. Yeah. 
And sometimes, you know, you're not in a position to donate money, and that's great, and that's fine. <laughs> Sharing our videos, liking our videos, mm -hmm. commenting on our videos, telling your family and friends about us and the work that we do here in the shelter just helps spread and expand our reach and brings us to the attention of other people that may not otherwise have heard of us. That's right. And maybe they want to give $2. Hi. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing your video. That's awesome. There we go. Oh, look at this baby. Look at this baby. Hello, baby. <laughs> I'm just hanging That's out. That's Rolanda. Hello, Rolanda. Look at that round face. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Princess oh, Leslie is here. We're about so to head pretty. on over to the teen room so you can meet her. She is definitely worth meeting. There you go. Uh, Brittany, we do accept donations of litter or food. We do have an Amazon wish list that's on the website. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you go to the cattericc.org, you should be able to locate our Cattery wish, Amazon wish list. Um, and we do accept donations uh, of product like that. Um, as a matter of fact, Katie just did a TikTok video. Thank you for the donations. Uh, unpackaging some of the recent oh, yeah. donations. We love getting donations. It's very exciting. It's like Christmas. That's right. All right, let's head over. Where everything is cat food or cat toys or <laughs> yeah. cat beds. It's all cat stuff. There you go. All right, let's sanitize hands and then head on over. You can peek into the FIV room real quick. We got Miss Padma in there. Oh, well, there we are. And there's Riley, the gray cat on the bed. Yeah. And Mr. Bandit's over there. We'll go in there for a minute. Okay, sounds good. All right, just sanitizing up. Say hello. I'm just going to show you this little... Now, it's not a fair test because it's a kitten. That's Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. But you saw why it was kind of hanging out up here at the front of the uh, cage. And so it's through our observation we'll get to know the cats. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Wyatt. He's bouncy. He is ready to come out. He is. <gasps> Padma. Oh, I know. What's that? Look at that baby. This is our FIV room, you guys. All the kitties in here do have FIV. Right now we only have three cats in here. Hi. Kepler does not come in here because he is, you know, Kepler. He does his own Kepler thing. <laughs> Hi, baby. But yeah, that's Riley right there. And there's Bandit. Bandit is new to the room or reintroduction to the room. Uh, we are a no-kill shelter here in Corpus Christi. Yeah. And we do consider that uh, Bandit is ours for life. We do adopt him out to different families. But in Bandit's case, it was an adoption that didn't work out with that's the right. other animals that were in the home. That's right. And so they called us. We worked with them a little bit. They called us, and it just wasn't working. We yeah. said, bring Bandit back. We love him. He always has a place here. Yep. And we do that with all of our cats. Yep. All of our cats are always welcome to come back. Yes, he was adopted. Good question. Um, but he did come back, as Scott just said. Sometimes it doesn't work out, and that's okay. You know what happens. <laughs> Bandit apparently does really not like dogs. Which you know that's fair. <laughs> oh, Riley. Riley is awesome. <gasps> he came over and he just headbutted me. He is awesome. I oh, love him. He, is he so does sweet. he does give little love nibbles, just mm -hmm. so you're not surprised. <laughs> I noticed that. That's okay. I'm used to that. <laughs> I like I'm that. just happy that he headbutted me. I he know. usually as I as I pet him, he usually pulls away. Yeah. And so I'm glad he's, that he's starting he's to feel lots comfortable. Of time. Bye. There you go. Hi, Mike. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I'm trying to keep it focused on a kitty for you guys. <laughs> there you go, Riley. So, Riley is a lab cat, believe it or not. FIV is a condition that basically attacks their immune system. And so these guys don't fight off uh, different diseases and viruses and things as well as other kitties. They can have a normal lifespan. And if you keep an FIV cat inside... Feed them a healthy diet, plenty of food and exercise. Take them to the vet on a regular basis with their vaccinations and things like that. Uh, they can live a regular life, and you'll never know that they were sick. That's right. But as they start to get sick, it kind of wears their body out. That's and right. so um, they can get sick easier than other kitty cats. We try and avoid that. <laughs> Are you doing pull-ups? Oh, I love Bandit. But yeah, like Sammy said... I know Bandit is not back permanently. He's back until he can get adopted again. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, and because he's basically the new cat in the room, since Bandit left, Riley has been in here. And so we're trying to make sure these two boys get along before we let them out, um, before we let Bandit out. We don't want them to argue or fight or anything like that. So until then, until Bandit's ready and until Riley is ready, 
Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to hang out in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Padma's never ready. She likes being, you know, by oh. herself, but she, she tolerates the boys. There you go. She tolerates We had a couple people asking about Amazon wish list. Yes, we do have one. It is on our website, thecatterycc.org. The Cattery CC for Corpus Christi.org. It's okay. There's a better match for Bandit out there. You don't have to be sad. He's back here. He's safe. He's happy. He's healthy. That's right. Um, nothing bad happened to him while he was gone. In fact, he was, you know, happening to the dogs. <laughs> he was giving the dogs their business. Yeah, he hey, was Katie. His boss. <laughs> K- Katie, I have a message for you. What's up? From Crystal. Hello. Hi. Oh, here, we'll focus Hi. on you. Hi, Katie. Thank Hi. you for helping me adopt my Zelda. Oh, She's so doing nice. amazing and has been such a blessing to my family. She is loved and spoiled. That's awesome. Yay, so Crystal. Yeah, good match. We're glad that's working out. Exactly. Love those kind I of stories. And if you want, you can send us pictures. You can email us pictures. Yes, uh, we love happy stories, and we do post uh, happy <laughs> stories. There was a, a adoption uh, story posted today on Facebook, as a matter yeah, of fact. Yeah, well, Vega. It was so great. I'm so happy for <laughs> Vega. Um, how many cats usually get adopted a day? So we're open for adoptions on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. During the week, we spend the time taking care of the kitty cats, making sure everybody is healthy. Um, we call it room checks. There's my ear fingers. Room checks um, where they weigh the cats, they uh, make sure they don't have any fleas, they brush them, they uh, turn up their nails, they clean their ears. And it takes quite a while. We have a lot of kitty cats. So during the week, that's really important for us to make sure all the kitties are ready for adoption weekend. Um, And of course, we also um, have cats visit the clinic during the week as well. That way, when the weekend comes, you know, there's no interruptions. The cats are all ready to go. Everybody's healthy and clean and ready to meet their new families. So we, we average, for a long time, we've been open since 2007, and for a long time we've kind of paused around 12 adoptions on average a week, mm-hmm. and over the last few years that has grown up to be around 15 a week. Mm-hmm. Last weekend we had 25. Yeah, we had 25 last weekend. And we'll show you the adoption board here when oh, we yeah, go let's out. Go. Let's go uh, let's get out of here. take a look at that. Ugh. We don't want to run out of time. We've got to oh, make yeah, sure we see everybody. All right, there's Kepler again. He's prowling and patrolling. This is our adoption board, guys. So there's the adoption board. So the week ending 5.30, we had 25. Yeah. Week ending 5.23, we had 18. That's right. 5.16, we had 16 adoptions. 5.9, we had 22. Mm-hmm. 18, 11, 15, 19, 18. 18. 18. So, obviously, the board does get erased from time to time. It, it kind of averages about two months, two and a half months on the board at any one time. Yeah. But you can see that the adoption numbers are really good, really strong. And one of the things that I like the best about this is it's not just kittens. It's not. We do a lot of adult adoptions. That's right. And special needs adoptions as well. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, all these guys got good, loving homes. Oh, look at this, Katie. Zelda. position are we hiring for? We're hiring adoption counselors. Of course, that's kind of an all-encompassing title. Um, you don't just do adoptions. We also have you uh, help around the shelter. We need help cleaning and all that stuff. Um, and it's for local people. Oh my goodness. What is going on? I can't wait for you to meet this cat. Oh my goodness. That's Hawk. Hi, Hawk. He's my absolute favorite cat in here right now, other than Princess Esley, of course. He's the sweetest boy. <laughs> Let me sanitize my other hand. I already did one. <laughs> Doing All one of right. Time. We ready? Oh, and there's Cecily. I'm going to miss Tinker Spills the Tea as well. That's, you know, one of my favorite series that Sam does. I love it. Hi, Cecily. Hi, Cecily. There's Look the at her. princess. Someone was asking about her earlier. There she is. She's doing her push-ups. Yep. <laughs> there you go, Cecily. She's like, All right, bye. Take All care. right. All the cats See you later. So as I focus on Cecily, let me show you what was happening at my feet. <laughs> Lots of kitty cats. Lots of kitty so cats. this is our teen room, guys. The teen room is for kitties who are four months to a year old. We do have a couple of uh, lifers in here. We call them our residents. And they are older than a year. 
Um, but they do live here, so they don't count as far as teens go. There's Hawk. Hi, Hawk. Oh my God, I love him. Are you string fella, Hawk? He is such a sweet cat. He loves to play, but he's also just very, very people oriented. He loves to be held. He loves to sit in mm -hmm. laps. And he just purrs constantly. He's wagging his tail. <laughs> I know. He's amazing. He's such a good boy. Hello. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Now, Cecily is not in pain. Thank you for the question. The tortie, um, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Tortie, hello. She left. Oh, she's over here. This is uh, Taffy. I almost said candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is Taffy. She is another one of my favorite kitty cats. She is super, super sweet. And like you said, she's a tortoise shell. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I believe she's under a year, but she's getting close to the year mark. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I know she stopped petting you. I'm she's so like, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. In Florida. Look at that. Oh. There we go. Hi, baby. Oh, look at, yes. Look right into the camera. Look deep into their eyes. <laughs> Uh, we do check their ears just because there's a lot of cats in here. You never know. It's just better in this large cat environment. There's lots of kitty cats to clean their ears regularly. And at home, it's probably not as prevalent, but it doesn't hurt to check. They sell uh, over-the-counter stuff at, you know, big box stores. What's happening, Polly? You have a hair What's that? <gasps> what? Oh, yeah. What did Guys, you do? This is Polly. He's one of the residents I was talking about earlier. Polly is eight years old, I believe. Is he eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight. Hi, Polly. And there's Chester. He is a lap cat. He's another resident. He's Cecily's best friend. And then we have lots of cats in here that I don't recognize. Well, look over here. <laughs> Earlier, we were in the adult room, we saw that cat that was in the transition cage, and yeah. it was hanging out at the back, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. So here in the teen room, now, of course, he's going to move. Uh, this cat was, was more up at the front of the cage. I'm checking everybody out. S but sitting there comfortably and confidently. Yeah. And so that's one of the things that we're going to look for, and that cat is telling us, I am comfortable getting close to being out in the room. Exactly. And so he's a good candidate for... Uh, being evaluated coming out. That's right. You can see right below, that cat's more towards the back of the of the cage. And so that cat's not quite as comfortable or confident. Not ready. Still beautiful though. Look at that tabby. Oh my goodness. Okay. Very, very sweet. She's got a small little mane what is right underneath her chin. I don't know. I'm sorry. There's a lot of new cats in here this week that I am not familiar with. I don't know a lot of these cats. <laughs> I was gonna say that now. <laughs> It's a I'm good thing they took yet. good thing they took away the disco ball. I know, thank goodness. I will name as many as I can. Hi baby. Guys. Oh yeah. But there's gonna be some I literally have no idea who that is. But you're very cute and I like you. I'm gonna learn your name, I promise. This can't access that right now because I'm on live. <laughs> Hi, Ooh. I love this cat. That's Brule. Hi Brule. Hi Brule. Oh my gosh. Brulee really <laughs> won't let me get far enough away to show her. She <laughs> keeps sticking her face right into the is. camera. There she know? is. Look how pretty she is. She has really striking markings. Sometimes calicos have, you know, less striking colors. They're just very saturated. Mm -hmm. Beautiful orange. Oh, so sweet. She too. is really soft. Polly's really soft too, huh? <laughs> Oh, Jupiter's jealous. You gotta pet her too. Good girl, Jupiter. Jupiter is also the, the torty over there. This is my, what I was talking about. Like a very dilute orange oh, so colored. Cool. But yeah, that's Jupiter. <laughs> but Polly's, Polly's in the way. Yeah, he's huge. Here she is. Jealous. Trying to look underneath. <laughs> there we go. Here's now her. we get a shot of her. There she is. That's that tortoise shell. And Chester. Hanging out. Chester. Little house panther. Yeah. He's on his rock promontory, just overlooking the room. <laughs> What's happening over he here? Loves to climb the lap as soon as 
There's one available. You put the camera in my face, I turn my head. Yeah. Are any of them siblings? Um, yes, we do have siblings in here. Tia and Tamara are siblings. Now, where they are, I don't know. We'll have to find them. Up, up top? Yeah, that looks like Tia. There's Tia in the corner. This is Tia. She's one of the sisters. And it looks like Tamara. Oh, where did I see? No, I didn't see her over there. Well, hello. Sorry, Lindsay. I scared Lindsay. <laughs> Are there any kitty cats hiding in this cabin? Yes. Oh, That's Gwyneth. Bye, Gwyneth. Bye. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> she darted out of there. So that was Tia. Tamara's around here. I don't know where she is yet. Surprisingly, there's a lot of places for them to hide in here. It doesn't seem like it, but there is. Hi, baby. Thank you for the gifts, you guys. We should get you some cat packs. Thank you all for the donations. We yeah. appreciate it. Oh, here's a black a house panther. Benji. Benji looking over the flowers. Keep Where are my hummingbirds? <laughs> Where are my buddies? Hi. All right. The first known cat video was recorded in 1894. All right. Yeah. I know who it was by, too. So. I forgot. Long, t long time before the inter internet, as soon as people could take videos of cats, they did. Yeah, they did. It was two boxing cats. I know that. Was it Einstein? No, not Einstein. That's dumb. What was his name? The inventor guy? <laughs> yeah. Edison? <laughs> Edison. Thomas Edison? Yeah, yeah, Edison. He did the first cat video. Ever. I saw it on Drunk History. Oh, well, there you should you watch go. that show. It's hilarious. I think you would like that show, Scott. <laughs> Hi, baby. Are we still getting pets no. in the YouTube? Hi. Oh. He looks so comfortable there. And look at Padme. Ooh, I got another cat fact. Cat fact. <clears throat> 200 feral cats prowl the park at Disneyland. They do their part to control rodents. The ones who don't wear funny outfits and speak in squeaky voices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming they mean Mickey so, Mouse. <laughs> yes, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the uh, so Disneyland has cats roaming over two hundred. Wow! Just like us, but all theirs uh, live outside. There's Cecily. You want to see Cecily? There she is. Hi, Cecily. She's crawling around the room doing her thing. Pretty girl. Where's my shy boy? 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 I want to see if I can get somebody on the wheel. Hi, Robbie. Good boy, Benji will be on the wheel. <laughs> Come on, Benji. Benji's so long, though. His, he has the longest arms. <laughs> He's so lanky. Which one is the best? Um, that's subjective. <laughs> <laughs> they are all the best. They're all the best. Is the best, but everyone else is also the best. I know. He's, he's like too tall for the wheel. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> but he'll sit on it so no one else can use it. There's Hawk. The nicest. Oh, um, which one is the naughtiest? Which one's the nicest? <laughs> uh, Ziggy is the naughtiest. That's easy. Um, this is Ziggy, this big boy right here. Um, he is very naughty. He's a very naughty boy. Uh, he's a sweet sweetheart, but yeah, he he also thinks he's a little tiny kitten, but he's in a big body, which is, you know, <laughs> recipe for naughty. One of the nicest kittens we have is going to be Hawk over there, uh, the other orange cat. And this is Kathy. She's very sweet. And there's Chester and Polly and Jupiter, or Jupiter and Jeepers. They're all very sweet. But yeah, Ziggy is... What's interesting is that <laughs> cats will behave differently for different people. That's true. And so the cat that may be hanging out quietly in the corner of the room, when I'm in the room, somebody else comes in and they may come out and play like nobody's business. Yep. But as soon as I come back in, they stop. Exactly. And it's not me personally. Nope. But it's, it's just really interesting. And so... 
you know, these guys as a no-kill shelter, they stay here until they get adopted, right? And so some cat that may have been with us for a while, all of a sudden somebody walks in and they say, wow, this is the cat for me. This is the most amazing cat. I can't believe nobody's ever adopted this cat before. <laughs> Sam says Ziggy is bad for everybody. <laughs> That's true. He's a there you That's go. Like so <laughs> there you go, Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. There you go. There's your reward. He's getting a lot better at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just funny to me to kind of see that the cat that a lot of people have that reaction. How come yeah. nobody's adopted this cat? Exactly. And that's because this cat is your cat. Hasn't right it hasn't, yeah. hasn't been that way for anybody else. Exactly. We call it making the perfect match. What are you doing? I'm going to try and get a shot over there. Okay, I'm trying to get underneath the... There we go. Underneath the... Uh, oh, the, the bench? Uh-huh. I know. Those, those two are the best sister friends ever. That's Jeepers, that's Polly, and they absolutely love each other. I have tons of videos of them headbutting and just snuggling and being adorable. <laughs> Cecily. Cecily uses the wheel too, believe it or not. Um, but not when there's this many teens in here. She's yeah. like, yeah, no. Yep. Too much activity, too She's, many people she moving. She's too tired to keep thinking in line. <laughs> yeah. Which one is the biggest or heaviest? Um, oh, that's <laughs> Polly. Polly. Big man. Well, that's <laughs> Polly is definitely our biggest cat, but Kepler is Kepler's coming up on him. It's a yeah. Let me get that. Let me get down there. Okay, come on down and see Mr. Polly. Hi, Polly. This is the biggest kitty here, probably. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's about eighteen and a half pounds. Uh, Kepler's just at seventeen, so he's catching up. It's such a tiny. Meow. Hi, Polly. I'm going to scroll through and see if uh, I missed any questions. Oh, I know. Oh, you telling each other? Yeah, a little tortitude. Yeah, a little bit. A little tortitude coming from the from the tortoise shell here. Do we have any Siamese? Um, Cecily is a Siamese, but she's not available for adoption, so that's not helpful. <laughs> At this time, I don't know if we have any um, teens or adult Siamese. But I know we have some kittens coming up soon. But yeah. you may hear that from me. You know, Jen Patreon, if you want to see that. Hi, Taffy. Hi, Taffy. Oh, sorry that you're glitching in and out of the podcast. Thank you for donating. That's awesome. Hey, guys, if you want to send some TikTok gifts, I'll review some catbacks. I think I owe you one. So there you I'll go. read you one now. Uh, before you do that, Sarah asked about getting cats used to the wheel. Part of it is having it out. Yeah. And having it as a part of their daily routine so they're not scared by it. Yeah. And then you, if you noticed, as I was playing with it, I took a toy and I put it up high on the wheel so that they had to kind of leap for it. And that gets that wheel turning exactly. and gets them used to that motion. And then it's just the repetitiveness of that, exactly. doing that consistently day in and day out, playing with them and making it a part of their routine. <laughs> and here's the one that was just getting beaten up high. Yeah. Oh, I know. Look at that baby. Oh, yes. Send a gold mine. Okay. All right. Here we go. Cat fact. Um, for some reason, cats really dislike citrus scents. That's true. That's one of the facts on there. That's true. They dislike citrus scents. So one of the things that you can do is take orange peels mm -hmm. and other things like that. And uh, if you don't like cats coming in your uh, yard or your garden, you can oh, put yeah. some citrus peels down and they won't go into the garden. Sam wants to send us a pot of gold. It's raining coins. And I'm assuming you want me to name all the cats in the room. <laughs> I will do my best. I can't make any promises. I'm looking around and I see lots of faces that are brand new to me. But I know quite a few. Who? I know a lot of you. Who do you know? That's Andorra. Hi, Andorra. Uh huh. All right, let's start. We're going to start over here in the corner with Gwyneth. I'm not going to get too close to her because she's a little bit scared. But that's right. Gwyneth. Let's see if oh, Tamara's back there. No. Orange oh, at your feet. Tamara is. This is Mr. Ziggy, the bad boy we were talking about earlier. Nobody under the bench. This is Bartleby up here on this tower. This is kind of his, his zone. He's got his own litter box even. He's very special. Bartleby the Scribner. Bartleby. Over here we have Endora again. Hello, Endora. 
Hello, madam. I don't know who that is. I have no idea. I might know if I saw her name on a board. I know it's a girl. I'm Hi, sorry, baby. I don't know your name. Hi, baby. I don't know you either. Forever to be known as, I don't know your name. I don't know you. I'm just gonna introduce myself to the cats I don't know. There's Cecily, Princess Cecily. Um, that's Brule. This is Chappie, my girl. My girl Chappie, I love you. We have Mr. Hawk right here. Yeah, you know your <laughs> name. This is Benji, the lanky man. We got Jupiter on the bench. We got, no, we got Chester on the lap. Under here we have Jeepers on the left and Polly on the right. And, oh, hi, I'm Katie. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here, Taffy? Oh my goodness, Taffy. Oh, <laughs> With her, it's never a trap. She actually likes value. Hi, Taffy. She's a good girl. Okay, we're She right. is a good girl. This is Lizzie in the window. How much is that Lizzie in the window? She's like, none. Bye. <laughs> Little beans. He's a good boy. He loves other cats. And then this is Tia. Hi, Tia. I wonder where her sister is. There's Lizzie again. My goodness. You're like teleporting. <laughs> and then in here. Oh, down in here is yeah. Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. Is there anyone in there? No, there's no one in there. Nope, nobody in. We're missing a couple kitties. We're missing two cats. Oh, they're, hi they're hiding somewhere. I know for a fact we're missing Jamie Lynn and Tamara. Down here in the back. Oh, is there a cat back there? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Is it Tamara? I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, that's Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Hello, madam. She's hi, but you'll notice she has a green toy back there with her. Yeah. <laughs> she, <t> she, <laughs> that's a toy. she caught her prey and she took it with, oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> Little lady. Little lady. Oh, I know. <laughs> Goodness. I love So sweet. <laughs> so sweet. So I wonder where Jamie Lynn is. Jamie Lynn is our last. Oh my god, gold coins. Hey, gold yeah, coins. Thank you for still giving me coins, even though I don't know everybody's name. I'm trying. Looking in all of the hiding places. Capital. Oh. Hmm. She is. Oh, she's a Siamese. Kepler outside. Hawk inside. Is a it looks like they're passing toys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hawk and Kepler really. Mm -hmm. They do. They pass toys through under the door. <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder if she is. Anyways, there's one more cat in here. She is a Siamese. Earlier I said we didn't have any, but I lied. We do. I just don't know where she is right now. Oh, she's around somewhere. She's in here somewhere. Looking at me, looking for her. So, all right, guys. How are we doing? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Oh, it's almost time to say goodbye to you. It's almost spiel time. Let me let me scroll through see if I missed a question. Yeah, last chance. <laughs> yeah, we did. Jamie, she's in here somewhere. Uh, last chance to ask questions, guys. Do you have any questions for the co-founder under the white cabinet? Scott. Yes, Scott. The two-legged cat is Princess Cecily, and she is amazing. She was on the kitten bowl. She ha she has her own journal. We've got someone who bought one of the ball towers that we we featured a couple weeks ago, and is reporting that they love it. She's all the way underneath. Oh, really? You bought the ball tower? That's awesome. Mm -hmm. She's under there. <laughs> Sam said under the white. Oh, now she's over there. Ooh. With Cecily. So that's the Siamese that I forgot we had that we do have. Um, but as you can see, she needs a little bit more buddy time. Yeah. Buddy time is whenever we hang out with the cats and try to get them used to us. A little socialization won't hurt her. Hi, baby. Oh, nice no. There you go. We'll leave you alone. We're not going to torture okay. you. All right. It's all right. There we go. That's all. I'm glad that we 
Yeah, All right, let's see. So the ball tower is working well. Yeah. There is that the ball tower? That is the ball tower. This is the ball tower. So you can get this. And the balls go around in it and the kitties just love it and A play lot of with cats it. Like this. Even adult cats like to play with it. Yep. All right. All right. Any more questions, guys? Uh oh, well, we have a question. Which is the oldest, which was the youngest? Um Well, Charmin outside. Charmin is 16. She's definitely our oldest. As for our youngest, we have lots of kittens in foster care. I would say probably one of those guys. The youngest we're going to have for adoption is right around eight weeks of age. So at eight weeks, we can get them vaccinated with, uh, with age-appropriate vaccines, and then we can get them spayed and neutered. That's right. And so they're really kind of at that, at that time ready to go home. We won't adopt anybody out who hasn't been spayed or neutered. That's right. That we love cats, but we already have enough. We don't need to be populating the world. So right. all of our cats are already going to be spayed or neutered. getting is excited it, is, is it time it is time it's time it's time for the spiel okay guys katie's famous spiel thank That's you guys for letting me hang out with you tonight yeah, thank you, Scott, for sorry coming. for the glitches it sounds like some people were kind of going in and out that may have been my internet or phone i'm not sure but uh, apologies for that and glad you came back all right y'all let's do it i'm going to show you this paper you're going to take a screenshot with your phone that way you don't have to stare at this while I talk, because I have a lot to say. Take a screenshot for three, two, one. Okay, so if you want to support the Cattery, the best way to support us right now is through Patreon. Patreon is subscription-based. You can join us at one, three, five, or sixty-five dollars a month. Of course, every dollar helps, so if you want to join the lower tier, we don't blame you, it's fine. However, the higher you go, the more rewards you get. Uh, that's my favorite thing about Patreon is that uh, you do get to donate to us, but you also get something in return. Other than warm fuzzies, you know, that come from donating. You can get web comics, photos, videos, etc. Today there's a new web comic coming out. Now it's a good time to join. First of the month, there's lots of stuff happening. We just got our summer print in. Those are going to be going out in the mail uh, hopefully this week or next week. So now is a great time to join. Uh, you can also join us on Facebook. Y'all on Facebook already know that. But if you're on TikTok, join us on Facebook. It is free to like our page. And see all the content we post every day if you want to take it a step further we do have a supporters group on facebook it's only two dollars a month the two dollars really goes this you know further than thing it does you also get access to uh daily content that we don't show anywhere else on the facebook supporter group uh if you want to donate to us directly there is venmo cash app paypal you can find our paypal on our website that's the cattericc.org and of course every dollar helps whatever you're able to give will help the kitty cats and goes directly to them. We are a nonprofit, so all of your donations make a big difference for our shelter. Yeah, thank you for coming, Alan. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, that's free, of course. And we post there daily, twice a day or more. And we do have a YouTube. We post videos up there as well, and we love it if you join us on YouTube as well. I think that's it. Yeah, you yeah. did well. If you're on TikTok, please follow us. Um, please like our videos, comment, share them. You know, all that helps us reach even more people. Aw, good night. Like and share our social media is one of the easiest and quickest things that you can do. And it's free. And it's free. And it helps us out tremendously. And it just expands our community and our reach. Exactly. So we love every one of you. And we really appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. We are here every Tuesday night. Yep, every Tuesday. 7 o'clock Central Time. To 8 p.m. To 8 p.m., yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can join us every single week, you guys. We'd love to have you TikTok and Facebook. Um, so see you next week. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. What is going on?